Hey there, folks. Welcome to Ubisoft News Plays. It's a 4v1 on the Rainbow Six Siege test server. I'm your host, Chris Waters. Playing as Kaid there. I just killed old Grandpa Fisher on the stairs. R.I.P., buddy. R.I.P. Sam Fisher's in Siege. <laughs> oh, we have fun here, don't we? I want to thank y'all for tuning in. If you're an, on Twitch, that's where we're chatting. Twitch.tv slash Ubisoft. If you're on YouTube, glad to have you there as well. Checking out the PC test server for Operation Shadow Legacy, the next season coming for Rainbow Six Siege. And I'm hiding in the corner by the snowmobile so I can do my introduction and not get shot. Uh, okay. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. Nicely done. That's a W. GG. Uh, yeah. Test server. It's a thing on PC. If you don't know about it, basically, if you own the game on PC, you can download a separate version of the game called the test server and it goes live during certain periods of time when the devs want to test stuff like before a season comes out now just recently they announced operation shadow legacy in which sam fisher is coming to rainbow six siege as an attacking operator and that's not it there is a like there's just like a huge amount of other stuff coming i don't know if you've seen the list uh but We'll talk about it today. We'll get into it a little bit. Uh, one thing you've been seeing me do is this new uh, customize your scope color and opacity. So there's a ton of individual optic colors. There's some presets based on different uh, sort of color profiles. And you can change the opacity, which is like how um, like bold the color is or see-through. So that's one thing you can do there. Uh, if you're in the Twitch chat, you got some questions here. I see people putting R6 credits in there. It's not a thing. There's no drops on this stream. This is just a casual let's play. We do them twice a week. Usually don't have drops enabled, but if we did, we'd let you know for sure. Uh, what else do we have going on here? Mm, hi, Reddit user. Good to see ya. When is it released, Grumpy Panda? I'm sure you're asking about Operation Shadow Legacy, like the real deal. They haven't announced that yet. Uh, usually they just do the test server for a little bit of time and just kind of see how things are going, make sure there's not like anything very unpleasantly surprising and uh, plan their release date around that. Ooh. Why did it look like Frost had an ACOG, says Blackberry TV. Well, another thing that's coming with Operation Shadow Legacy is a ton of new optics for... Uh, you know, should we put this up on the couch? Can I get on the couch? Ugh. No, I can get over the couch, but I can't remain on the couch. Is a ton of new optics for the operators, right? So there's like uh, new holographic and red dot sights. They've been redesigned and, and also... Uh, the old ones are still in play. Then there's a 1.5X, which you saw me using earlier at, with Kaid. Uh, and there's a whole bunch more. We'll be taking a look at each operate. Oh, there's another jukebox you can shoot on the Chalet map rework, which we're going to see here. Um, and yeah, so if you see any sites you don't recognize, it's probably because there's new optics coming with Operation Shadow Legacy. Does every defender get the 1.5 scopes mid Pyro D Clan? No. Not every defender will get every... Oh, gosh. Not every defender... Oh, gosh. No. Who did that? Rude. Rude. Come on, try it again. See what happens. Wow. I bet they're coming around here, aren't they? Are they going to come around here? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Two before. Oh, it's getting spicy. Oh, <laughs> I was right. They were coming around that way. I just charged a little too boldly out there okay so i'll give you a quick list ping 2.0 ping 2.0 is a new ping system which like numbers individual pings for players and also does contextual pings so i'll try to do it in this next round as we attack oh god i gotta quick click so fast to get sam fisher yes sam fisher is the new operator uh okay so two things i want to show off on the stream one sam fisher the new operator he's got the sc 3000k and the other is going to be a whole bunch of other stuff but let's take a look at this this is a new gun coming uh, it's got the 2.0, the 1.5, and then red dot holographic reflex. I am digging the 1.5 these days, uh, so I'm going to go with that one. His other weapon is the MP7, very familiar. He's got the frag, he's got the claymore, and he's got an in integrated suppressor on his 5.7 USG as a sidearm. But you, He's got this gadget, though. It's like a two-way thing. Camera. Drills into surfaces. I'll show you what's up. 
King, you're asking if there's a, why isn't there a test server for, for a console? I don't really know. Uh, I'm not on the development team. I'm part of the Ubisoft news team. We work out of the San Francisco office. This game's developed out in Montreal mostly, as well as at Ubisoft Studios around the world. But yeah, we don't really have insight into kind of that kind of technical stuff about why it's just PC versus why not console. Uh, so yeah, if you have questions like that throughout the stream that I'm not going to be able to answer because I don't have super technical knowledge of the game and its development processes. The, the subreddit, the forums, the get on Twitter, those are great places. The Siege team is very communicative and they like to share a lot of information when they can. So even on their official website, they do a ton of new communication about um, stuff they're working on and stuff that's on their priority list and stuff that they have actively put in that's changing. So a lot of resources. I'm just not one of them right now. Okay. Chalet, chalet map rework. <laughs> So what do we see that's different about the chalet map rework? Okay, so this is a bomb site down here. Uh, this is between bar and this pool room. There's there's only one window here. There's no external door anymore. There is this side hallway between these areas, big soft wall between the two. Into here, bar. Uh, the bar is very different, as you can see. Uh, there's a door here now. The bar used to like run here and just have like a soft wall, but that's like the bar is very different. Okay, my drone was shot, but now it's Sammy fish time. Okay. To get you in there so we can use the and not get spawn peaked. Oh gosh. Okay. So Sam Fisher's gadget is a camera launcher. Notice anything about the laser sight? Three three green lasers, Sam Fisher style. Uh okay, I'm gonna like blast it all in here. I'm gonna go hide in the trees. And then we're going to take a look at what we can see. So we can see in. This just punched through a, a window. Uh, and, oh, there's Legion. Hi, buddy. But it can see both sides. Look. Uh-oh. <laughs> the upper entrance was so good. Oh, man, the timing. Amazing. But let's see. I think the, I think the camera still is there. Uh, yep. Oh, uh, but my buddy was killed. Oh, gosh. Okay. I think they might. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> I hit it twice. Uh, don't peek twice. Reddit user, are you the only one who doesn't know who Sam Fisher is? Maybe. I don't know. So, Sam Fisher is the protagonist of the Splinter Cell series, a legendary espionage series in the Ubisoft catalog. Many games over many years sort of defining this kind of stealth action. Uh, lots of intel-based stuff and lots of maneuvering to, like, you know, just be in the right position at the right time, being unseen, um, and get the drop on your opponents by using stealth, by using your technology. And uh, so that's Sam Fisher has, you know, made some guest appearances in other Ubisoft games. We saw him recently come to Ghost Recon Breakpoint, and before that, Ghost Recon Wildlands. Now he's coming to Siege as an attacker. And uh, yeah, so his camera you saw can drill through a, bre a breachable wall, or a breakable wall, or a reinforced wall. Breakable hatch or a reinforced hatch breakable floors and ceilings uh, to create vision on both sides. And I feel like, it's, can you pick up the cameras, the stealthy archer? I do not believe so. Uh, but we can try it out. All right, a ripe potato will be playing him today. But we are going to go ahead and play. Who else? There's a new hard breach gadget. This is another new thing added with Shadow Legacy. Hard breach charge. You see it right down here as the gadget. It's a one-time use hard breach secondary gadget, which gives the ability to other operators to hard breach. So it's not just Ace Thermite, Hibana, and Maverick getting through there. Uh, there's only one of them currently, but we're gonna put it to use. We're gonna breach something. Mm, mm, mm. How big is the whole Blackberry TV? You're gonna see uh, it's a little bit, mm, it's like roughly Hibana sized, a little bit bigger though, because you can vault through it. Um, it's a little bit bigger than one Hibana hole and a little bit smaller than two, I think, but, uh, yeah, I'll show you. As I see some folk asking about Tachanka. Uh, no news on Tachanka just yet, but, uh, you know, I believe the Lord Tachanka would ask you all to keep the faith. Uh, so, you know, don't despair. Chunk, don't give it to you. King Gamer saying you can vault or crouch through it. Yes. 
yeah, we're going to try to see this thing in action. And uh, I believe... Oh, hello, friend. Okay, so look, I'm going to make a ping. Number three. Uh, it shows a three because I'm ping number three. Uh, you can now ping from drones and cameras. You can't ping on someone else's drone, as we can see. You can still scan on someone else's drone, but you can't put a ping down on their drone. Only they can ping on their drone, it seems. I'm just figuring that that nuance out. A lot of these changes are that way. They're like, okay, you can like sort of read about them at the outset, but then uh, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna change up my reticle a little bit. Let's uh, let's let's take advantage of these different colors. I want to see all the different colors in the stream today. Turquoise. We're gonna see 70 70 percent. By the end of the stream, I'm just gonna have a completely see-through, no color stream thing. See, it's a very light light touch. It's like less bright. Oh. Enemies detected outside. You guys, I don't think they want me to use my hard boost charge. But for the sake of the stream, I'm going to use it over here anyways. This is what it looks like. It looks, it feels a little rickety, honestly, but I mean, this is how it goes. It like explodes all the way around and then like, ba bang You got yourself a nice little hole here. You can vault right on through. Shoot the cameras and uh, we're on our way. But yeah, you only get one currently. You know, the number of gadgets and stuff you get is something they commonly will use as like a balancing lever, which is a phrase that developers have used, which I really like. Just a way for them to, you know, make things a little more powerful or less powerful depending on what the what the emerging balance uh, situation is like. Okay, Captain Tao. This is a hostage match? I always forget about playing on these discovery matches where like, yeah, you could. Okay, two versus four. Ripe potato, where are you at? I wanna go by my friend. Here upstairs. Getting a little turned around in the Shelly Macri report. We're just about to come up the new, this isn't a new stairwell. This is an old stairwell. The new stairwell is back here. At the We're gonna go there and try to remain hiding a secret. It's gonna be fun. Oh, there's a camera. They're gonna know I'm here. Twink. Downstairs or upstairs? Downstairs or upstairs? Downstairs. Upstairs. <laughs> I guessed wrong. <laughs> Nards. Ooh. Okay. Uh, folks asking about cross progressions. I got no idea about that, man. That sounds crazy. Please remove the drone ping feature. Can't be. What? You haven't even tried it out. I don't know. Have you been playing the test server? Have you folks been playing it? Check it out. Yeah. Sound. Totally. I, I mean, I heard them coming. I just couldn't. I wasn't sure if they were upstairs or downstairs. And I guessed wrong. Do I know if there will be an R6 crossover with Breakpoint like Wildlands? Brayden, I don't know that. I wish I did. I did like that. Was That was really fun last time. I really liked it. It was like Kavera in Wildlands seemed like a really good fit. And also she was like, I don't know, it's like very intimidating. Because uh, it could put a little more narrative around what is happening in, like, a Wildlands mission than in, like, you know, a Siege PvP match. So, yeah, I thought that was pretty fun. Hopefully they'll do it, but I don't know. Just good business. Hello. Thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying this. Glad to have you in the stream. Oof. Play not. Thank you. Really appreciate these comments. Thanks, y'all. We are playing the test server. You can see here, Operation Shadow Legacy. It's got that TS watermark on there, as, along with the, like, what is that, 30-character, like, branch name or something? Because they're always updating this stuff. And if you folks are playing the test server and you encounter a bug or anything like that, r6fix.com is a whole system where they, like, they have, like, bounties for reporting. Oh. Andy, give it up. Let me do it. Yeah. My man. Okay, who wanted to see the stats on the new assault rifle, the SC-3000K? Here we go. 45 damage, 850 fire rate, 50 mobility, and a 25 bullet capacity. I believe the capacity is a little lower than other assault rifles in the game, but I'm not, you know, my siege knowledge is not that ex that, is that, that deep. But, yeah, there you have it. Our buddy Zero is Sam Fisher's call sign in Rainbow. And he's like... This isn't like a seasonal thing. Like he is going to be joining at the beginning of Operations Shadow Legacy when the season goes live on all platforms sometime soon. Uh, I honestly don't know when. And he's going to be there. He's not going away. So yeah, Sammy Fisher on Team Rainbow. 
Kaiser Dark Axe, what's up? Welcome. Glad to have you in there. Yubi Yubble, my man. Glad to see you this morning. Thanks for joining. Shout out to our mods, folks. Give them some love. Can you shoot it through an electrified reinforcement? Electrified reinforce. Electri electricity will destroy the Argus launcher. They're called. It's like an Argus launcher. Oh, hello, friend. Uh. <laughs> It's called the Argus Launcher. It shoots projectiles that burrow through both uh, breakable surfaces and reinforced surfaces. It will give you camera vision on both sides. You can't look at both sides at the same time, but you can look one way and then look the other way. And it can shoot one laser, uh, which can destroy a gadget or do some small damage to an enemy. If you shoot it at a surface that's not breakable, it's still going to stick in. So this is what I really like is because it's like basically you can fire it to create any kind of cheeky camera angle that you want. I mean, it may not be like the best use of the utility, but if you're like, oh man, like I really don't want to worry about jump outs on this balcony, like, cool, now I have camera view on this balcony. Unlikely I'm gonna be able to use a laser for anything. I can't go through and see the other side, but now I have this vision here. You know, it's another way to use it uh, and try to use it to your advantage. Okay, so the bombs are, like, right here. So, yeah, for example, here, we got this guy jumping in. I'm going to go ahead and put a camera here. And, like, boom, I'm watching the diffuser through the camera that I just put in. Oh, Warden, you're going to... Oh, you got shot, buddy. And so, <laughs> this... I like this move by my colleague Andy, who's playing Nook. Hop in, hot plant. Ooh, enemy gadget destroyed or ally gadget destroyed but that's another way you can like use that gadget is for you know setting up it's almost like you know like a, it's a deployable camera in the way that valkyrie is but it works differently uh yeah i think it's gonna be really interesting buff full fine saying i can see that working really well on borders yeah on that map that for sure sounds good okay oh all right joe's mom is gonna do that one this time okay who else has got the new Breach charge or the new hard breach. Fuse does. Ying does. Lion does. Let's go with some lion. Uh, I basically never play lion. Uh, two. Oh, I don't know. I selected it in time. I think I'm stuck with the holocyte. It'll be all right. Uh, does Stealthy Archer, I'm taking it as a no, you, can you put it on a reinforced wall? Yeah, you can shoot it. It will it will penetrate a reinforced wall. It will penetrate reinforced and breakable walls. It will penetrate reinforced and breakable hatches. It will penetrate breakable ceilings and floors. And when I say penetrate, I mean it will give you camera vision on both sides of that barrier. It will also stick into any other a bunch of other surfaces like you just saw. Um, but yeah, if you want to get that double vision, if you want to like... You know, it's it's just I want to show I want to also try to do it through a floor because I really feel like okay wait we should do some we should do some pinging we should do some contextual ping so like ding oh wait okay I don't want oh what <laughs> how they give me I got destroyed uh contextual ping is a new thing ping 2.0 is a whole new situation where not only have we seen that your yellow ping now has a number on it, and if you look at your scoreboard, you see who on your team has what ping. So I know that if number five pings, oh, that's the guy with the diffuser, that's Batson B. Um, then ping 2.0 will also, let's see, like, see it also pings the camera, and is like, that's an enemy camera. It'll do that with gadgets as well. So if you ping like a frost trap or something, it'll let you know um, that that's what you're dealing with. Okay. Did I take stun grenades instead of the hard breach gadget for Lion? Yes, I did. <laughs> was I trying to use my special gadget at that moment? Yes, I was. Oh no! <laughs> Read me like a book. GG, Sean. Let me just uh, toss it through the peaky hole. <laughs> oh, I got bopped. Okay, let's see who's playing Sam Fisher. Uh, nobody, because they're already dead. All right. Uh-oh. 
another cheeky C4 toss. Oh, I love it. Okay. <laughs> Oof. Zion marked the ace saying, so Maverick got another canister for his breaching torch. Yeah, this is the kind of thing that, like, there is just so, so much new stuff coming. Um, let me pull up the website, rainbow6.com, and uh, see if I can get you a link to, like, all the extensive stuff. Yeah, patch notes, Operation Shadow Legacy. Here we go. There is so much stuff. You guys are going to want to check this out. So I'm putting the link in chat. Uh, did it go? There it is. Okay. Putting the link in chat for some of the patch notes because, yeah, I'm going to try to cover some of it, but there's no way I'm going to cover all of it. Uh, all right, let's just play some more. Oh, scooped. So, yeah, let us know in chat what changes you've been seeing. I'll spit cut you. And which ones you like. Yeah, Ready Player, you saw that. Nook had the Selma Aqua Breach Charger on that appearance. Yeah, there's like a uh, little bit of... Um, it's a test server, man. There's a few bugs. You may have seen one in the beginning uh, before the countdown. But that's a test server, baby. That's why you report it. R6Fix.com. Coder is enjoying Map Ban. Map Ban's another new feature coming with Operation Shadow Legacy. And actually, after this uh, Shally Map rework, we're going to try to play on a different map because there's other stuff we want to show you, including Map Ban, uh, which is basically like you get a chance to... Oh, no! Test server bugged. Uh, pretty sure that's a known bug. So, g good luck. The only two people left on our team. <laughs> <laughs> They're just looking at three dead teammates being like, why? The answer is bugs happen, man. That's why they do test servers. Very known bug. Uh, Rainpig, did we change the lighting with Villa? It looked different. You know, I don't know. Maybe it says it in the patch notes, but again, that's the kind of detailed stuff you're going to get from the Rainbow Six communications team. Super good crew up there. Uh, Rainbow6.com and their social channels and their Reddit forum are all great places to connect with them. Use the Chanka next round to Giorgio. Not until the rework. No. Uh, already got spot gates. Nope, that was just a bug. Who do we got? What do we got some other questions in here? Hmm. Reinforcement pool is amazing. Bandit can reinforce the full garage now. Bumble White. Yes, so reinforcement pool. Another new thing coming with Shadow Legacies. Instead of every operator having just two, every defender having two reinforcements to put up. Oh, Warden with the clears. 1v5. Uh, instead of every operator, oh no, the untimely reload. Instead of every operator having two reinforcements put up individually, the defending team has a pool of ten that any that any time anyone puts up a reinforcement, you can draw from. For example, when I was playing as Kaid earlier, before uh, during the countdown of the stream, I think I put up four reinforcements in the basement. Uh, this is just a way to give the defenders a little more versatility, like in terms of um, you know who's putting up what. And who's reinforcing where? So, like, if you if it's a map with multi stories and you need to reinforce more than two hatches, then you can still just send one speedy operator to get three different hatches. You don't have to send two people out to get three hatches. All likewise, if you've got someone on your team who's like, "See ya, I'm not defending the site. I'm roaming. I'm gonna play over here." You don't like their reinforcements. Don't go with them. With they stay with you. Mm -hmm. Isn't the ability to ping with drones a bit OP now? Who will scan now anyway? Insane 360 TV. You know, uh, whether stuff is OP or not, whether it's balanced or not, is like really one of the main reasons they put stuff on the test server is to test it in a live environment. You know, they do extensive testing. They have great QA teams and they do play sessions and stuff before stuff comes out, but nothing can compare to putting it live where thousands and thousands of dedicated siege players can get in play it, put it to the test, stress test it, and uh, see what stuff emerges. I mean, if you've been playing Siege for a little while, you certainly know that, uh, you know, they've made changes here and there based on feedback and stuff they've seen. So, you know, they'll be definitely on it. Coder saying no more cav mains running away and never reinforcing. There you go. Cav mains can be cav mains. They can just go off and do their thing. You ain't got to sweat it. I hear you, drone. Where are you? Up there. 
Not in my wine fridge. Honestly, though, this is not how you store wine. Like, you store wine bottles on its side. That way the cork stays moistened and doesn't dry out as fast. So, I mean, maybe Chalet is just moving bottles real quick because they do brisk business here, but... Vandalism. Oh, gotta love it. Mm, GT Frost Trap. I'm gonna put down some of these Malusi things. Oh, check this out. Okay, so this is, like, the wine area. There's a new uh, corridor that goes right over here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Seems bad. Double ace breach! I don't like it. I want to put this down. I don't want to die without putting down. Ooh. Not breached. Anyone up here? Any shenanigans? Let's just watch this. Stairwell. Someone jumped in. Let's see. Got him! <laughs> C4 Vengeance, baby! Oh! Thank God I remembered the C4. I don't know if y'all ever forget your C4, but it happens to me a lot. That was a Sam Fisher thing, by the way. That was his Argus launcher. Uh, causing me some trouble! No! Yes! <laughs> Oh, sorry. Is uh, sound is loud. Okay, let me turn it down. Hold on. Okay, turn down the uh, audio a little bit. Thanks, Breezy Boy. Thanks, Gentry Bug. We appreciate the constructive feedback for sure. Oof. Just good business. So Ubisoft sends their employees to France for a degree in wine science. Actually, it's part of onboarding for every uh, Ubisoft employee. You need to be at least a level one sommelier to be employed here. They take their Frenchness very seriously. <laughs> I kid. They're definitely not in involved. No. I just happen to know that because I had a friend who was super into wine. Uh, and he taught me that little tidbit. I live in California, pretty close to Napa Valley. You know, lots of wine making up there. I've been wine tasting once or twice. Oof. The Stealthy Archer, I see you trying to check. I see you as guys asking about the sense on my mouse. Uh, to be honest, like, I'm basically a silver level siege player. Uh, I don't, like, have my sensitivity dialed in super well. Uh, but I'm curious if you have any tips, because I'm definitely, like, oh no, not again. Uh, this is a known test server bug, folks, so don't be distressed. I'm gonna be okay. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Don't spawn there. Rip. Yeah, let me know if you, uh, have any tips for ways I should, like, should I be having a higher sensitivity? What do you think? I don't know. I'm curious. Play low sense and don't play 60 FOV. I think I'm on 70. Let me see. What's my FOV? Where's that thing? Display. 70? Let's go 70. 75. Also, time to change up the site color. We're going to go light green. 65 opacity. So this customization is one of the um, one of the new customizations. Also, you can change the ADS sensitivity for each individual scope uh, if you prefer to customize it to that extent. I know that's something that a lot of folks have been asking for. Uh, so check that out. Uh, Cockcore Project, yes, you can join me for a game. Uh, just send a friend request to RiverDogs14 and send me a chat to tell me you're available. Um, we may have to switch to the main build, to the uh, live game of Siege, not the test server, because they have some scheduled maintenance coming up. Uh, so we may have to switch that in a second, but we're going to keep the test server going as long as we can. Low DPI, low sense is best in pub Pobolibus opinions. Appreciate it. Ooh, nice little jump. Oryx, it's a 1v1. Let's go, Bats in B. It's all you, baby. Blue games, I like this tip. If you try to flick onto something and you go past it, it's too high. If you don't reach it, it's too low. That's how I figure mine out. That is a good tip. I like that. Thank you. 
Yeah, I definitely need to spend a little time zipping here and there and trying to dial that in a little bit. Insane360, you enjoying the new scopes? I'm glad. <laughs> Bobolibus, I got it better than 90% of those who try. Well, when you stream and you try to say Twitch names, you get a little bit better. <laughs> you get some practice in. Uh, try 10, 10, 80, 3, 400 DPI. Okay, let me screenshot this. I'm really appreciating these tips. Uh, okay. There we go. All right, what's something else we haven't mentioned yet that's coming in Operation Shadow Legacy? We talked about new scopes and customizable scopes. We talked about custom ADS sensitivity. Oh, there we go. Nicely done. Uh talked about map ban secondary hard breach gadget the chalet rework we've been playing on we're gonna mix it up now and try to go to another uh yeah hard fought victory ggs folks ggs um mix it up because they're trying something new out on the test server as well that's actually not plans to come live with the season and that is automatically having any roof hatches reinforced now again this is not something that is uh hold on bring squad with me this is not something that's going to be coming with Operation Shadow Legacy. They're just kind of testing it. But with the addition of the secondary hard breach gadget and more... Oh, back online. Maintenance in progress. Let's see. We might not be able to actually play. That might have been the end of our uh, test server situation. See, you can tell I'm not a... F oh, wait. Let's check this out. Uh, match replay. Yeah, okay. So here's... What am I saying? Let me finish my first thought, which was... They're testing out reinforcing roof hatches automatically. Like they start reinforced. They're testing it on the test server to see because now with more hard breach gadgets in the mix, they're going to try to see how it works as a balancing lever. Now, this is another thing that they're also testing in the test server that is just in its alpha phase, and that's match replay. Uh, was that the match in which I got the guy with the C4? Let's find out. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to watch this one because it's not online, but basically it will store the last 12 matches that you have. Then you can watch the match back. Uh, I mean, you can watch it from your perspective. You can watch it from the spectator cam perspective, or you could watch it from the perspective of any player in the match. So if someone, if you're in a match with someone and they just like drop 12 kills on your team and you're like, how do they do it? you can watch that match replay and watch that from that player's perspective. I am super excited for this because I think that's going to help with the learning, but we'll see. Okay, what we're going to do here is go to, hmm, just going to like see my desktop? No, we're just going to go to this. Hi, I'm going to quick restart uh, the normal version of Siege because the test server is offline. We're going to get a few of you in on the action and uh, we'll play it a little bit longer. Yeah. Uh, if you're curious, my you play nickname is Riverdogs14. Okay, let's start it up. Riverdogs14. That's me. What if you find out if someone is cheating during replay mode, says Evasive. You know, I don't know. Maybe that's an R6 fix, fix thing? Maybe that's a, I mean, it's a question for the devs. I don't know if they, I think, I don't know if there's like a reporting tool built into the match replay, but that's a great suggestion. They are super into getting suggestions for, uh, match replay stuff. That's why they're doing just an alpha test of it on this test server. So uh, yeah, suggest that. That's a great suggestion. Mm, mm, mm. UBUble says clip it and send it to Ubisoft support. My man, I like it. Thank you. Okay. What's Mute Protocol, says the Cockroach Project. Mute Protocol is a seasonal event running now where uh, basically they transformed the tower map into a futuristic, like, sci-fi tower. And a bunch of the operators have these kind of, like, robo-futuristic... Uh, you know what? Let's just play a match of it. No, actually, I don't really want to play a match of it. Well, okay. Should we play... Um, well, I invite some people. Vote if you want to see a Mute Protocol match or just a regular multiplayer match. Uh, we're going to go ahead and invite some players here from the chats. Did you send me a chat? No. Okay. Quick. Who were they? Bumble. Invite to game. Unbox. I'm, just, I'm gonna guess it. That's you want into. Why not? River cats. Invite to game. Rick. Okay. Who sent a chat? Oh. No, you joined my game, Andy. 
So here's the deal with mute pro <laughs> normal. <laughs> here's the deal with mute protocol. Basically, it allows you to. Oh uh, wait, no, I don't. We're not gonna do mute protocol. We're just gonna do regular quick match. Um, mute protocol allows you to digitize your operator and travel through observation tools. So when an attacker throws a drone, their character model disappears and they're just the drone, which means you can run through a drone hole, find a little sneaky spot, and then when you pop out of the drone, boom, you're back. Oh, okay, I have the video game back up. We need to we need to switch over here. Yeah. Okay, is it working? Do you hear audio? Oh, it's working. Great, 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 great. With the defenders, they all have bulletproof cameras, and there are pre-placed bulletproof cameras in the area, and you can travel through the camera network. So it's very sneaky, very tricky, uh, and very fun, very weird, uh, but you should definitely check it out. Uh, okay, so this is just like a regular game of Siege. I'm going to go in here and be like, oh, where's my 1.5x site? I really like the 1.5x site, you guys. I want it. But that's on the test server. We're not on the test server anymore because they're down for some maintenance. So we're just gonna have to go do it ourselves. We've got a couple of folks in the chat joining. Glad y'all could hop in here. Oop, where's the Tachanka rework? I got no news on the Lord's rework for you folks. Alas, if I did, I would love to share it with you, but you know the team is gonna wanna share it with you in a special way when it's ready, so stay tuned. Hmm. Jusky TTV, you're streaming right now as well? Excellent. Pobolibus, 1.5 on Mira is amazing. I'm saying, it's so good. I love playing Mira and I love that site. Okay. Uh, all right, we're back in uh, this version of Siege. I don't, I'm totally confused about where I am and what's happening. Somebody ping 2.0 for me. Alright, yeah. This feels like does it feel like it's loud? It feels like the reinforcing is very loud. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me just uh sit over here. I'm gonna take the audio down a little bit and I have to like completely destroy the audio before like home streaming everybody. We're making it happen. Oh hey Mozzie. Okay, where's a good where's a good place to put uh Oh no, we're out. We're all out of peaky hole things. Where's a good place to put a mirror on this map? I don't even know. Feels like over here. It's probably a good one. Aya Yanez, are you the voice? Uh, yes. If you have watched some Operator Breakdown videos of Rainbow Six Siege, you have heard my voice. Oh, dip. Saying stuff like, Operation Shadow Legacy is coming to Rainbow Six Siege and bringing an old man with a peaky camera named Sam Fisher. Now, that's not the exact script as I... wasn't the final script, but you know what I mean. Uh, let's just heave ho. Oh, wow, that's way too high. <laughs> no one's getting detected by that. <laughs> ah, crap. Oh, if I had the 1.5x, that would have been a kill. Okay. Oh, they're calling me on my cell phone. Feel very exposed. Ooh, almost got a 3Z. I want that 3Z. No, get out of here. Gridlock. Oh, I thought I saw Gridlock was over there. Oh, I'm so exposed. Oh, I really don't like it. Oh, it's very bad. Did the Gridlock rotate around? Is she over there? Let's put up a mirror window. <laughs> That's the most dangerous move ever. Okay. No. I really think that right there. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, the vector is shredding them up. Look at my little pile. I made a collection. Who else wants to join it? I gotta get the quad. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm very sweaty. It's warm here. Uh. Oh, it's going with the flankies. Oh, I guess gridlock got downed. Okay. Where are they at? <laughs> yes! 
Let's go! Wow! Easily my best game of this on stream. Maybe ever. Mmm. <laughs> oh my god, I'm feeling hyped. Thank you, Poopy Pickle. I appreciate it. Go Fricks, we can try to get you in on the next one. Send a request to Riverdogs14. And then send me a chat being like, please invite, just so I know you're online. Okay, can I just, like, stop playing now? That was super good. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Feeling good. Feeling strong. How we doing? The Grouse. Thank you. Glad to have you in the chat here. Good to see you. The Ace looked like he tripped on a banana peel. <laughs> Terminator Destruction. I really like that. I think it was UB Yubble who said the oh, Warden kill earlier. It looks like... He was just like stumbling home drunk late night from a bar. I love it when the animations give you that little extra like they're just going they're going down. It's over. But it's a little silly too. I like it. Okay. Where am I? Okay, we're on this site. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep, yep. Well. Oh, okay. People like to have like a little peek hole through here, right? No? You wanna, you wanna ball that one up? I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and get a little vision onto here. Yeah. Boom. Kuya Earth saying new sites are a game changer. Yeah, the new sites on the test server are super, super fun. Uh, I'm glad you're really enjoying them. I think they're super great. Uh, we were showing off the test server a little earlier, folks. It's down for some planned maintenance now, so uh, it's not up at the moment. But, you know, it's going to be back soon. And you can check it out for free. If you own Rainbow Six Siege on PC, download this test server and play it for free dollars. Let's put this up here in case they want to get in the window. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of sit over here for a second. <sighs> You've been enjoying the TS, the grouse? Yes. Dude, it's so crazy. The season is looking rather wacky. Yeah, the sheer amount of uh, stuff coming in Operation Shadow Legacy is amazing. Uh, oh, my phone's ringing. Okay. I see that someone got killed over there. That seems bad. Through over here. Um, mirror window's popped. Yeah, go ahead. If you want to pop it. I feel like... Someone's over this way, but a lot of people are getting the kills out here, so I'm not mad about it. Hop, hop, hop. Well, you know, one round you carry the team, the next round you can sit back and chill. That's my philosophy. <laughs> Zion, Merc, the Ace. Does everyone who plays a test server get Sam Fisher? Yes, that's a good point. Uh, when Operation Lego Shadow Legacy like launches for real, Sam Fisher, you'll have to get him the way you would get normally get any operator, which is if you got a year five pass, then you've got early access to him for like, oh, I want to play some Amaru. Nope, didn't click fast enough. We're going to go with Ace. Then you'll get, uh, you know what? I'm just not good with the ACOG. That's why I love the 1.5x. I'm sorry. I know it's Siege Sacrilege, but I can't do it. When you play the test server, you get access to the operator, Sam Fisher. You can choose him right away, for sure. When he actually, when the season comes out, it'll be the usual thing. Your five pass owners get access for a week, and then after that, it becomes available for purchase with Renown or R6 credits. But all the other stuff we've been talking about, Ping 2.0, the pooled reinforcement, the Chalet map rework, new scopes, customizable scopes, custom ADS, secondary hard breach gadget, uh, you know, the th oh, the Thatcher rework. We haven't even chat talked about that one yet. Map ban. All that stuff is coming for free as part of the whole season update. So it's really very exciting. And here, I'm going to put this in the chat again because if you are, like, curious about the whole situation, go ahead and look at the – where is it? Come on. Highlight my message. Well container located. Patch notes. Check them out. Lots of interesting stuff there. Oh, we got to start. Okay, let's do it. Where's the biohazard container? Way over there. We're playing a video game. Why didn't I take Amaru? Someone else selected it just before me. It is why. Woe unto me. So who did I take? Ace? Okay. Biohazard container's down there. Where are my teammates at? Unbox the Slayer. I'm just going to follow you. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. You chicken out. You, where are you at? 
Get in the game! <laughs> yes, lol, I am reading chat. Uh, well, I think, yeah, none is Amaru right now, Kakor, but they, they totally did select it. And then maybe they DC'd? I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. I'm gonna go with my buddy Zolf. What the? We got a little connectivity issue over here. Lockbox. Beak. Beak. Ding. Okay. <laughs> Good thing they didn't run in front. Ooh. Okay. Here we go. Hip, hip, hip. Yeah. I'm just straight going to follow this person wherever they go. Nope. They're having the bugs. Maybe not. Oh. Ha, 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 ha. Gotcha, boss man. Nice try. Uh, and then before anything else spicy happens, let's just let's get some breaches. Breaching in the bathroom. Don't you shoot me when I'm on the toilet, Frost. Absolutely rude. Absolutely too rude. Where are they at? Where are they at? Oh. <laughs> what do I have here? Smokes? Reload. Sounds like someone's boosting up. No! Oh, downed. Oh, uh, please reload main gun. Oh, God. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh, Timmy, you got me. <sighs> okay. Okay. <laughs> yes, flawless victory. Oh, and who's your MVP? It's me. I'm really glad y'all could witness this. It really boosts my confidence. I'm gonna be feeding off this one for like a week. <laughs> I'm super stoked to have y'all here. Okay, we're going to get one more match in. I think we got some folks who want to join in. Uh, completed the challenge. Yes. Let's go ahead and bring the squad with me. Uh, Night Lord, you got questions like why Fuse lost some smoke grenades? You know what? I don't know. Uh, I didn't Fuse gain that new hard breach gadget, I think. Yeah, it's uh, that kind of balancing stuff is the developers. That is not my purview. Uh, so... Unbox the Slayer. Cool, cool, cool. You are in the match. All right. Wow, I got a bunch of folks. Curious. So, yeah, that's the stuff that you, like, you can ask on forums or ask on social media of the developers, and they can maybe give you a little clarification. Uh, okay. Who do we got here? Well, folks, Bumble White, River Cats, Unbox the Slayer. Let's invite... Who else Who else was in there? I forgot. Totally forgot. Shusky. And then there was someone with a G... Mm, Carrick, there's no drops today, but thank you for joining. Humphrey, what's my position at Ubisoft? I'm a communi communications manager on the Ubisoft news team. So basically our gig is to... Uh, <laughs> our gig here is to just kind of like share the good news about like uh, new announcements that come out when they're like ready to be announced. Uh, to also showcase games that are out for that you can play like new stuff coming to games we played mute protocol here a while back uh and you know do interview developers to try to really bring their uh all right go for it. interview developers to try to give you a better idea who actually makes these games and like what kind of passion they put into it that's one of the really fun parts of my job is getting to interview folks uh so we did get to do it for the um if you watch the presentation for the Operation Shadow Legacy revealed during the NA Major this past weekend, then you saw some of our handiwork. Uh, speaking of which, you saw this fellow's handiwork, but I'm going to kick him out of here. Andy, leave. We got to get the fans in. The fans. The stream stream buddies? Stream pals? You need to be... Oh, sorry. All right. We're full up. I don't know if I can... Dis I don't know if I... You can't like, kick someone individually, can you? Man, I don't know. All right. I'm just going to play it. We'll get you next time, folks. Uh, okay. We're getting into the match here. Yeah. This is fun. I'm stoked. You want an operator from For Honor, Insane360TV. Who would it be? You got to give me a better pitch than that because I'm intrigued. 
But I think there are some, aren't there some like For Honor cosmetics in here? Like someone has, does someone have the Warden mask? I feel like I have one for Montaigne or Rook that's like fairly robust in that like armor type way, but I can't remember. Or was it Rook? Do I have a Rook? No, I can't. I can't view the customization here. Uh, let's do a little Malouse. The juice is Malouse. The Malousey is loose. Centurion, you want the Incredibus after every kill. Yes, you be able. That's what I'm talking about. Kakor, you want Aiden Pierce, Operator? Hmm. There are definitely some, like, there is, like, the hat or something. <laughs> the Grouse, that is totally my perspective. Anytime someone asks for reasons there were balancing changes, I just say, bro, I literally just work here. Pretty much. Uh, it's very fun to work here, but I don't have all the knowledge that I would that I can convey to you. We do it in our good time. Uh, we also make those YouTube videos, as we talked about earlier, that I voice. Uh, that's maybe where you've heard my voice before. Uh, all right, we're securing bomb. And, uh, yeah, working with the Rainbow Six Siege team is super fun, as you can imagine, because this game is dope. Let's put this on the paint cans. Sometimes you just got to put it in a place that looks neat. That's my tactics. Ooh, dubious. Okay. Hello. No drone information for you. Mm, gotcha. Two drones dead. I'm contributing to the team. <laughs> oh, what's up, Chonk? <laughs> Go Perks. Excellent. Glad to have you in here. Let's see how you can, how the chonk goes for you. I'm very excited. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna like put up some barricades here. You want the gladiator to street to siege? You need to stab somebody. Toe stab somebody. I like that. Yeah, the Nibbler. Sorry, we can't show off the test server right now because they are uh, doing some maintenance. And uh, you know, if you ever needed a little bit of a uh, of more reinforcement as to uh oh, someone is already there. <laughs> As to how much Chris is not a member of the Siege development team, boom, the Nitro. Then just go ahead and use your as your evidence. Plan a test server stream when there's gonna be maintenance halfway through. <laughs> We're here for you, folks. Bang, bang, bang. Uh, was somebody over here? No, no one's over here. Oh, over there. I'm seeing some pings, but they're not ping 2.0. I don't know what they mean. <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely sounds like someone's over here. Someone's definitely behind me. Yep. Get proximity alarms, sucker. Should I just wait here? What's your move, chat? Do you just wait here because you know they're going to come? Or do you, like, just peek around and shoot them? It worked. It didn't work. You guys, I think I tipped my hand. I'm gonna go hide behind the radio. Probably end up shooting my own gadget. But they'll never see me amidst the paint cans. This is called paint can angle. A lot of the pros use it. Very, very reliable. Very, uh oh. Sounds like someone's coming in over there. I'm not good at jump outs. Why did I try that? Uh, Terminator destruction. Turn the corner holding the angle, then one tap them in the head. The dream. That's the dream. <laughs> Niebler saying, dude, Sam Fisher has a different knife than all the other ops. Knife cosmetics when? I'm saying, right? Well, they got the, you know, they got the attachment. Um, what do they call them? Attachment skins to make your attachments different? Who knows? But yeah, the knife you're talking about, I think it's the Karambit it's called. It's like that curved blade that's kind of like iconic Sam Fisher uh, from his, uh, from Splinter Cell. So, oh, oh sorry, Bumble, Bumble, uh, you're out of here. Tachanka, it's up to you. Go Furks. Duh, you, go, you got Furked. Sometimes you go Furks, sometimes you get Furked. I mean, that's just the reality of <laughs> Rainbow Six Siege. Oh. Humphrey, I always use C4. I run and die, and then my girlfriend <laughs> yells at me for being the last alive. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, you deserve it. Just kidding. Terminator Destruction, thanks for joining the chat. We appreciate you having you in here. Always great to have folks watching, sharing the siege love, even if 
we can't share the test server love for you right now. But yeah, any other test server questions about stuff that's coming out? I'll try to answer what I can and give some information. Uh, as you know, uh, I know some things. I don't know everything. But I like to try to help folks out. Definitely a lot of cool stuff. And let me know if you have... Um, can we still hide the in the bushes in the new chalet rework? I don't know. I have not spent a ton of time bush hiding. So I can't say. But... If you have the game on PC, you can download the test server and go ahead and try it out for yourself. Okay, Mira, what do we want to do? Do we like this? Do we like this? Where's a good mirror window spot? Someone give me a ping, ping for a mirror window spot. I wonder if I'm having connection issues here. Or if it's just everyone else. I don't know. Oh, and Zach, when will the new season be released? I don't know. That's something that they don't really announce because it really depends on how the test server goes. Um, and if anything weird pops up, etc., etc. So, uh, yeah, I cannot say. So there's one more season of Year 5. Yeah, so Operation Shadow Legacy is the third season. Oh, thanks, friend. Is the third season of Year 5, and there will be one more after that. About every three months is the schedule they do it on. Okay, I'm just going to do this. Oh, wait, where's my proximities? Uh, well, we already got the Gers moths. Let me just remove this. Let me know if anybody walks in over here, will you? Oh, do you think these are live things? No, oh, didn't have sight line to that one. Oh, well. I've created a bit of a situation for myself here. Oh, hi. Oh, my gosh. Booty clencher again. Not clenching my booty enough to get these kills. Will the new 1X scope be available for all ops? Sanjpans, uh, the new scope situation with uh, the new season is that a lot of the scopes have... There are new scopes. There are some redesigned scopes. And there's been a shakeup of what operators get what scopes for which guns. So you really just kind of have to get in the test server and see or, you know, check out screenshots of people. Maybe they've shared some loadout screenshots on the test server. That stuff is because it's kind of a new first wave of changes. Um, yeah, I don't actually know 100% myself who's getting what gun and for, or who's getting what sights and for what guns. Oh, there's one. There's two. Oh, oh there's three. <laughs> oh, there's lots of them out there. The solo game. Do you guys care that stuff get leaked months ahead? I mean, I don't think anybody really likes leaks, right? Because you kind of like part of developing new stuff for a game is building up to the moment when you reveal it to everybody and like having it be a cool moment for the team and for and, the, you know, the stuff is like ready to show and it's all good. Uh, so sometimes, you know, I think leaks are a bummer and I think that uh, you shouldn't do them. But, you know that's the way the world is so i think that the siege team knows that it's like something that happens and so they deal with it they roll with it and they do i think that they're you know ultimately like very confident that what they're bringing to the game people are going to be excited about and that they're doing stuff to keep this game healthy and you know uh vibrant and bring new things and innovations to it so ultimately you know their their eyes are on the prize which is better for all of us they just get to keep making cool stuff Any info on Rainbow Six Siege Quarantine? Humphrey, I got no info on that for you. Sorry to say. Barra 18, you should remove the hatch thing. Uh, I'm wondering if you're referring to the test server uh, phenomenon where they're testing out what if any roof hatch was just reinforced from the beginning? Because currently there's no way for defenders to like reinforce a roof hatch. So it's not that costly for the attacking team to handle it. Uh, so they're, excuse me, experimenting with having roof hatches reinforced from the jump. And 
seeing how it works. They don't have any plans to bring it into the live game with the season. It's just a test. It's like literally a test test server thing that they're testing with tests. Wow, I'm like way on the other side of where all my friends are and I have the diffuser. Hmm, okay. To the roof we go. Ding, ding, a ding, ding, a ding, ding, a ding, 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 ding. Can I play zero, please? Nightlord, I would love to. Unfortunately, there is maintenance on the test server right now. Uh, you know, if you ever needed evidence that we are not the development team, it's because we planned a live stream during <laughs> test server maintenance. We played it for the first half, so if you want to check out some zero play, uh, you can, well, you know, tune into any number of streamers, I'm sure. What's up, Gofrix? What do you want? What do you want, man? Let's do it. I got no strats. I'm talking to the chat here. You tell me. Boom. Okay, almost got shot. We're cool. Oh, should we get a little, a little ace is the place here? Uh, exit repel. It's making me a little nervous. Got a big hole coming up. Oh, I hear some C4. Don't, don't go in there. There's C4 beeping. Okay, they blew it. Cover your entry. If you want to get in there, buddy, <laughs> it's going to be salty. I don't know. <laughs> oh, gosh. Do I see any heads? Yes, I see someone. Peek your head out. Oh, what? Come on. Oh, they got away. Sneaky. Humphrey, you've been enjoying uh, Zero as an Intel operator? Yeah. Oh, you are an Intel operator main, and you're enjoying Zero. Yeah, talk to me about what you like about Zero. Okay, we're going in. Uh, nope, that's not how to go in. This is how to go in. Hup, 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 hup. Plants going down. Solo game. Yeah, you use Zero as an Intel gatherer, not mainly to use the laser on gadgets. Yeah, I think that's definitely the way to go. Uh, all right, can I change the stance, please? Change my stance. Change my stance. I'm gonna. Pr I'll protect you, diffuser. Got the plant down. Simply is Nornical. Do you think the new hard breach gadget will affect pick rates slash nerf Habana, Ace, Thermite, and other hard breachers? Hey, Owen Boss. Uh, so what I think they're trying to do, what they've said when we were interviewing them is the reason they're bringing the secondary hard breach gadget is because they want players to feel like they uh, have a little bit more freedom of choice. Like you don't have to bring one of the four hard breaching operators. You can, they're hoping it'll open up new team compositions to be viable, uh, you know, in, in certain situations when Maybe you don't need a ton of hard breaching power, but you do need a little bit. You bring a few operators that do have that secondary hard breaching gadget, then you can pick some different, oper a wider range of operators. You don't have to like, someone doesn't always have to pick Hibana or something like that. That's the idea. You guys, I found the bomb. Well, that's step one of you need to locate a bomb and destroy it. <laughs> what do we do next? Check out motorcycles? I don't know. Oh, is this the one that's like two floors? Hi, friend. Get scanned. Now we know they have a rook. It's over for these fools. They'll never look on top of the... Beer bottles. Oh, yeah. Gopherix is rocking a new Mute Protocol skin. The Ying, this, like, Robo Ying is super good. Uh, Yeah, check this out. Look at this dome. Ah, you chrome dome beauty. Okay. Maybe I'll just go right in there. <laughs> Seems like a great idea. Da, 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 da. Simply use Nornicle following up saying, makes sense. I'm glad to see anything that tinkers with the meta, honestly. And seeing you be testing these features out and ask for community features gives me a lot of faith. I'm glad to hear it. That's like exactly what they want to. Uh, okay, let's just go ahead and shoot this guy because he's right here. Well, he moved. Rude. You believe these operators? They don't want to 
B where they can get shot by you very easily. Honestly. I guess it's a tactic. In the test server, do you still need to purchase ops? No, Kabzigara, you do not need to purchase the ops. You can go ahead into the test server and play as Sam Fisher for free dollars. Uh, I should just do that. Oh, I thought I had the... I don't have the diffuser. What am I doing? Oh, <laughs> I'm getting killed. That's what I'm doing. Ugh. Hey, Elite Monkey Kong, you're just in time to watch me get shot in the face. Who's gonna do it? Who's gonna get the last one? Oh, is it you, a slice of milk? No, it's Gofurx. Yes. Our hero from the chat. Robo Ying, Gofurx. Ding, ding, ding. Nicely done. Nicely done. All right, round five. Let's do When What's available in the test server? Oh, and boss. The test server, which is available to download and play for free if you own Rainbow Six Siege on PC is basically all the stuff that's coming with Operation Shadow Legacy. So not only is it Sam Fisher, I want to play, I kind of want to play some Amaru. This isn't a great Amaru map. Let's stick with Ace. Ace is the place. Not only are you getting Zero, AKA Sam Fisher, a new attacking operator with an Intel gadget that can, it's a camera that burrows through wall, like breakable and reinforced surfaces to give you camera vision on both sides and also has a laser you can shoot stuff with and also can stick into basically any surface to create a camera. Um, you can play as that guy but it's all these gameplay modifications these updates these changes that are coming it's a rework to the ping system ping 2.0 it's uh pooled reinforcements defenders draw from a pool of 10 instead of just having two assigned to each of them it's the chalet map rework it's new scopes there's a new 1.5x there's a couple other new magnifications i'm not exactly sure which ones uh there's also cut there's also changed scope like there's a new red dot and a new hollow even though there is still the old red dot and the old hollow. There's customizable opacity on scopes, which I was just about to go customize if I were not playing a test server. You can change the color of your scope and the opacity of your scope. Uh, there's a secondary hard breach gadget that attackers can have. It's a one-time hard breach thing. It creates a hole that's about the size of two Habanas, roughly, so you can vault through it. Uh, and then I got a list right here. You know I'm looking at it because this is a lot of stuff. I can't keep track of all this stuff. There's a new gun, obviously, Sam Fisher's SC3000K. There's uh, custom ADS sensitivity, so like... Per scope, your 1x, your 1.5x, your 2x, you can change how sensitive your mouse is as you're aiming down sights. I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, great. We're just going to stay in the weight room. Do your best. There's a change to Thatcher. Now, this is one we have not talked about. Folks, Thatcher and his EMP grenades will no longer destroy enemy gadgets. Instead, they will disable them. Enemy gadgets will enter a disabled state, and when the disabled state expires, they'll come back online. So, what does that mean? It means you're not going to destroy a bandit battery. You're going to uh, disable it, and it will come back online. So you're going to have a clean. You're going to have a window in which you can act on the intel that you have. You're not going to have just like a throw it and clear everything kind of situation. Oh, that's going to blow up. You're not just going to have a throw it and clear everything situation. So that's going to be tricky. That's going to be very interesting. Would you please read the new season trailer script in your team channel and see what they react? <laughs> that would be really funny. I should start doing that. Just start announcing the season trailer in... Uh, all right, how are we doing down here? Should I come down in here? Great, fun. What could what could go wrong? Where's the beep beeps? That's so annoying. Proximity arm. Just start reading the season trailer. I mean, for this one, people know. Like, definitely some of the folks in this chat are... Uh, like, they joined from the chat, so they know what's going on. Oh, hi, Kavera. Not looking good for you, is it? But uh, I should start doing that. That will be fun. Because I do... Oh, yeah, come here. Go for it. Oh, go for it. I'm going to get you, buddy. I got you. This is a great use of Ace's utility. <laughs> Just destroy a little barricade. Peekaboo, baby! I don't know if that's even a good idea. Okay. Boom. 
Oh man, we had a lot to talk about today. This was really fun. Oh, we had a comeback victory. Big thanks to Gofrux, MVP from our chat. Slice of milk, unbox the Slayer, River Cats. Great to have y'all in the squad. Uh, folks, I think I'm going to wrap it up right about now. We usually go about an hour during these streams. Putting up the big gooser on this one, making the team proud. <laughs> Uh, it has been super fun playing with y'all and talking about Operation Shadow Legacy. It's the next season coming to Siege. The release date of Shadow Legacy is not announced, uh, but the test server is live. It might not be live exactly now because it's under planned maintenance. That's why we came over to this mode. But you can download it and play it for free if you have Siege on PC. And please do. They really want you to play it. They really want your feedback on stuff. I see a lot of you folks in chat have like great ideas or like interesting opinions about Siege stuff. The team really wants that. They listen to you. So get at them on Reddit, on the, on the, on the forums, through their social media. If you encounter bugs or things you think should be fixed, r6fix.com. There's a whole bounty system for making that happen. But yeah, just get in there and play the test server. Have fun playing with Sam Fisher, aka Zero, and checking out all the new stuff. Like honestly... You saw when we were playing in this mode, like, or in, in the back of the main game. Going back to it, I was missing stuff already. I was missing the new scopes. I was missing the new pings. I was missing the pooled reinforcements. Like, this season's going to be a game changer for Siege, and I think it's going to be super exciting. So, fun to show it off. Fun to chat with you all about it. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back on Friday. Actually, Friday, I'm cooking up something special. Because it's Sam Fisher came to Siege. I think we're going to play a Sam Fisher game. I think we're going to play some Splinter Cell Blacklist on Friday. So go ahead and follow the channel. You'll get the alert. I'll be going live at 10 a.m. Pacific on Friday. If you don't know who Sam Fisher is, tune in and you'll find out. And if you want to relive some stealthy goodness, it's going to be good. All right, folks. That's it from me. Uh, thanks a lot. Fun stream. I'll catch you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.